So we have the graph here of y is equal to p of x. I could write it like this, y is equal to p of x. And they say, what is the remainder when p of x is divided by x plus three? So pause this video and see if you can have a go at this. And they tell us your answer should be an integer. So as you might have assumed, this will involve the polynomial remainder theorem. And all that tells us is that, hey, if we were to take p of x, and divide it by x plus three, whatever the remainder is here, so let's say the remainder is equal to k, that value k is what we would have gotten if we took our polynomial and we evaluated it at the value of x that would have made x plus three equals zero, or just what would happen if I evaluated our polynomial at x equals negative three. You have to be very careful there. Sometimes people get confused. They see a positive three, and then they evaluate the polynomial at the positive three to figure out the remainder. No, you would, if you saw a positive three there, you would evaluate the polynomial at negative three. But this should be equal to k as well. And so what is the remainder when p of x is divided by x plus three? Well, it's going to be equal to p of negative three. P of negative three, it looks like it is equal to negative two. It is equal to negative two. So our remainder is equal to negative two in this situation. Let's do another example. Actually, let's do several more examples. Here, we're told that P of x is equal to all of this business, where k is an unknown integer. Very interesting. P of x divided by x minus two has a remainder of one. What is the value of k? So pause this video again, see if you can work it out. All right, well this second sentence, that p of x divided by x minus two has a remainder of one, that tells us that p of, not of negative two, but p of positive two, whatever x value would make this expression equal zero, that p of two is equal to one. And then we could use this top information to figure out what p of two would be. It would be two to the fourth power minus two times two to the third power, plus k times two squared, so times two squared, minus 11. And so all of that, that's p of two right over here, that's going to be equal to one. Two to the fourth is 16, and then two times two to the third, that's two to the fourth again, so it's minus 16, plus four k minus 11 is equal to one, and these cancel out. And let's see, we can add 11 to both sides of this equation. And we get 4k is equal to 12, divide both sides by four, and we get k is equal to three, and we're done. Let's do another example. In fact, let's do two more, because we're having so much fun. So this next question tells us, p of x is a polynomial, and they tell us what p of x divided by various things are, what the remainder would be when you divide p of x by these various expressions find the following values of p of x, p of negative four and p of one. Pause this video and see if you can have a go at it. All right, so p of negative four, this is going to be equal to the remainder, remainder when p of x divided by what? You might be tempted to say x minus four, but they're trying to trick you intentionally. This would be the remainder when p of x is divided by x plus four. And so they tell us right over here, p of x divided by x plus four has a remainder of three. So it's going to be three right over there. And similarly, p of one, this is going to be the remainder, this is the remainder when p of x divided by, not x plus one, but x minus one. So when p of x is divided by x minus one, the remainder is zero. Let's do one last example. So once again, p of x is a polynomial, and then they give us a few values of p of x, and they say, what is the remainder when p of x is divided by x minus three? Pause the video and try to think about that. Well, we've gone over this multiple times. The remainder when p of x is divided by x minus three, that would be p of not negative three, p of positive three. Whatever value makes, whatever value of x makes this entire expression equal zero. So p of positive three, p of positive three is equal to five. 
And similarly, what is the remainder? Actually, no, not so similarly. This is interesting. What is the remainder when p of x is divided by x? I know what you're thinking is like, wait, what, what, what number am I dealing with? But if I were to rewrite this, instead of saying divided by x, if I were to say divided by x plus zero, then you'd be like, oh, now I get it. Or if I wrote divided by x minus zero, you're like, oh, now I get it. This is going to be p of, and it doesn't matter whether I take a positive or a negative zero, it's going to be p of zero. And p of zero, they tell us, is negative one. And we're done.